Thanks for tuning into this video. It'll be short, but it's super packed with extremely valuable information, so make sure you tune in to the end. First, I'll touch on highlighting dates that are either due today or overdue. Then, I'll touch on dates that will be expiring soon. I'll also cover highlighting due dates or expiration dates while factoring in business days, or in other words, excluding weekends and holidays. As always, we have a ton to cover, so let's dig in. Alright, so I'm inside of Microsoft Excel. As you can see, I have two columns in my data set. This is a pretend set of workflow case numbers that my imaginary team needs to get done. Before I send these to my team to complete, I want to highlight the most urgent cases in red. In my line of work, we have the goal of completing the cases within five days after we receive them. So in column B, it shows the date that we received the case number listed in column A. I need to highlight the cases that are five days old or older to show more urgency. I'm going to show you how to do that in two simple steps. I'll show you how the today function works in Microsoft Excel, then I'll show you how to use that formula to set up conditional formatting to highlight items that are more urgent. In cell E1, I'm going to show you the today formula, and it's simple. All I do is type the equal sign and then the word today followed by two parentheses. Then when I hit enter, it will show today's date in cell E1. I am filming this on October 30th, 2020, just so you know why it's not showing today's actual date. Pretty cool, right? But let's say I want to know what the date was five days ago. That's very simple as well. All I need to do is add a negative five or a minus five to the end of the formula, which is telling Excel to subtract five days from today. The cool part about this formula is that it will always show what today's date is. If I close this Excel sheet and open it again tomorrow, it will show tomorrow's date as today. It updates automatically. All right, so now that you know how the today formula works in Excel, let's put that to use within conditional formatting. I want Excel to highlight any date that is older than five days from today. I'm going to highlight all of column B to tell Excel that what I'm about to do with conditional formatting will be applied to all of column B. Then I'll click the drop down for conditional formatting, which is located in the ribbon on the home tab. From there, I'll hover over highlight cell rules and then choose the less than rule. You should get a pop up like this that will likely just have a random date in there. I need to adjust this rule a bit. So instead of highlighting any cells that are less than October 27th, I need to tell Excel to highlight any days that are five days older than today. So I'll replace that with equals today, opening parentheses, and closing parentheses. Then I'll add a minus five. I'm going to choose to keep the light red fill with dark red text for this one. Now I can just click OK. From here you could add another rule to highlight anything that is less than three days old in yellow. It's done the same way. Now I'll just type equals today, opening parentheses, and closing parentheses, and then minus three, and click OK. Now you might notice it replaced all of your dates that are older than five days, which were previously read. That's a simple fix. Just insert all of column B as highlighted, and then choose manage rules from the conditional formatting dropdown. Now we just need to tell Excel what order to add these rules. If I click on the older than five days old, and then move it up in the order, we should be good when we click apply. Now you might be thinking, this is all fine and dandy, but what if I need to highlight dates that are going to expire in the future? For instance, let's say that instead of the date in column B showing when you receive the case, it shows the date that it needs to be done by. Let's cover that next. It's a very simple process. In this example, I have dates in column B that are all in the future. Remember, the date when I'm filming this is October 30th, 2020. I want to highlight red any dates that are in the next two days, because those are the ones I need to get done first. I'll do that by highlighting all of column B and then from the conditional formatting dropdown, I'm going to hover over highlight cell rules again and choose the less than option again. In the formula bar in the pop-up window, I'm going to type equals today, opening parentheses and closing parentheses and then a plus sign and then the number two. Then I'll click OK. Now all the dates that are less than two days from now are highlighted in red. I can add in yellow to show any dates that are less than five days from now the same way. I'll highlight all of column B and then choose less than from the conditional formatting dropdown. Then I'll type equals today, opening parentheses and closing parentheses, followed by plus five. Then I'll choose yellow fill with dark yellow text and hit OK. Now like earlier, I need to tell Excel what order to put my rules. So I'll go to manage rules and move the less than two days away up in the order. Now I do want to show you one other step that some of you are probably asking for at this point. There are probably some of you that aren't working seven days a week. You need to get items done, say, within five business days instead of just plain five days. Let's go over that now. In this example, I have dates that are up to 10 days in the future. 
I want to highlight any dates that are within one business day of today. This will be done a bit different. First, we need to understand how the workday formula in Excel works. In cell E1, I've got the today formula, which displays today's date. In column H, I have a list of US holidays because my team does not work on those holidays. In cell F1, I want to find out what the date will be in five business days from now. That's where the workday formula comes in. I'm going to start by typing equals workday and then opening parentheses. The first thing Excel asks for is the start date. In this case, it's going to be today. So I'm going to choose cell E1. I'm choosing E1 because E1 is always going to show today's date. Now, when I add a comma, the next thing Excel asks is how many workdays out do you want to look at? In this case, I want to look at five business days out. So I'll add a five and a comma to get to the next part of the formula. Now it's asking for a list of holidays that you want to exclude from the working days as well. I'm going to highlight my range that has all the holidays listed. So I'll highlight from cell H2 to H9. Now I'll add a closing parentheses and hit enter. This is telling me that five business days from now is November 6th. Let's look at a calendar to see if that's correct. So in this case, we'd skip Saturday and Sunday. Then we'd count one, two, three, four, five. Looks like that's correct. Now since we know that November 11th is a holiday, let's do 10 business days out instead of five to test that part out as well. I'll do that by changing the five in my formula to a 10. Let's look at a calendar now to see if it skips November 11th. So we skip Saturday and Sunday again. Then we count one, two, three, four, five. And then we skip Saturday and Sunday. Then we count six, seven, and skip the 11th since it's a holiday. Then we count eight, nine, and skip Saturday and Sunday. This means that November 16th is in fact the 10 working business days. Now let's work on highlighting any date in column B that is less than five business days from now. The first thing I need to do is change the 10 back to a five in my formula. Now I'll highlight column B and choose the less than rule from the conditional formatting dropdown again. So I haven't been able to figure out how to build the workday formula into conditional formatting, so I'm just gonna choose F1 to be the parameters of the less than rule. Now this rule says that we want to highlight any date in column B that is less than cell F1. Now I can just click OK. Now any date that is within the next five business days is highlighted red. Those are the ones that my team needs to get done first. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, can you do something for me real quick to help out the YouTube algorithm? Click the like button and leave a comment. Both of those will help this video get in front of more people, which will in turn help my channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification. Doing so will notify you anytime new videos come out on my channel. Also, feel free to browse other videos. I think a few should be popping up right now. See you next week.